this evening on pest patrol. It's really very important that you come into your garden on a regular basis, daily if you can, maybe different times of the day, to check your crops and see if there are any pests that might have taken hold and are causing damage to your crops. Also important to put barriers into place so that any pests can't get to your crops, such as the netting on the left. And also to encourage predators such as birds, hedgehogs, frogs and insects like ladybirds and hoverflies and even wasps because they all keep down the green fly that might attack your crops quite a lot. Now there's a very welcome predator. It's a thrush eating a snail in the vegetable garden. This is a Brussels sprout plant. When that was planted, it got a little color around the base of the stem there. There. That's to deter cabbage root fly from laying their eggs around the stem and the little larvae eating the roots. Also, there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of eggshells around the plant. That's to deter slugs and snails from eating the plant. And overall, the plant hasn't done too badly. There's a couple of leaves which have a little bit of damage from slugs and snails, but that's not too bad. Whereas the plant next to it has fared much worse. You can see the silvery slime trail from a slug or snail when it was on the leaves feeding. So what I might have to do with these plants is add some more eggshells to make sure they don't go near them and maybe add a little bit of salt as well to deter them. But overall they're not doing too badly. And the little plants beside them are radishes. And as you can see, the radishes have tiny little holes in them. That's not slugs or snails, they're flea beetles. I'm not too worried about that either because flea beetles, when they eat little holes into leaves like that, don't do too much damage. And because with the radishes, we don't eat the leaves, so that won't make much of a difference. These are cabbage plants. They're a lot more mature than the Brussels sprout plant we were just looking at. As you can see, the outer leaves have quite a lot of slug and snail damage as well. But again, I'm not too worried about that because the outer leaves tend to be fairly tough and you wouldn't use them for cooking anyway. What you want to make sure is that the heart of the cabbages, the heart of the cabbage doesn't get damaged. And if you have a closer look, you can see hiding in there is a snail, so that one will have to go. We're still looking at brassicas. This is the tray of kale, kale Nero di Toscana. They're still in the tunnel and um, getting ready now to be hardened off soon and to be planted out. So at first glance they look good and healthy, no slug or snail damage and even though they have been growing in the tunnel they have also been visited by pests. If you have a look at this leaf here and look at the underside there, these are butterfly eggs. That's the white cabbage butterfly and they tend to lay their eggs on the underside of leaves well, you can't see them, so you really need to look very closely to be able to find them. Simplest thing to do is to just rub them off and just check all the other ones as well to see if there are any eggs there because as soon as the little caterpillars hatch, they will start munching away and they won't leave any of your kale. In this raised bed, we have kale. The plants are protected by some more eggshells, as we've seen before, and they're also covered with a very fine mesh, 
refer to as Envirometh, and that's to protect them from the cabbage white butterfly, which may otherwise lay its eggs on the underside of the leaves. And once the little caterpillars hatch, they will start munching straight away and devour these lovely kale plants. Here we have lettuce. They're protected by five litre bottles with the bottom cut off. The reason the bottles were put there are twofold. On the one hand, they're there because the plants weren't hardened off when they were planted out. So they can actually be hardened off in situ by taking the bottles off for longer periods of time every day. And on the other hand, it helps protect against slugs and snails as well. And you can see that it actually is working because originally we had four plants there but two bottles got blown off one night with the wind and sure enough the two lettuces that weren't protected have disappeared.